and let's continue with proteins. We, last week we talked about proteins and there are preconditions. Uh, Gülen talked about the preconditions. Pre mm. I want to mention them uh, very shortly. Uh, firstly, there are 200 amino acids in the nature, but a protein uh, can be formed only the 20 of them. And they, these 20 of them all have to be left-handed. If right-handed uh, amino acid gets into the protein, it cannot get into the protein. A protein cannot be formed. Yes. Yes. And it's about the structure of yes. the protein. It the protein. becomes a rubbish. Yes. 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 Just a molecule and it, will, it has to be uh, break apart. Yes. And, and uh, these amino acids mm -hmm. also have to be uh, have to be bonded <laughs> by the peptide bonds, and yes. also have to be in linear position. Also, these are the yes. Uh, this is very important, yes. and have to be in right order. If the uh, order of the amino acids change, a disease occurs. For example, sickle cell anemia. Yes. Uh, yes. If one amino acid is changed, the place of it, or uh, another amino acid comes, a disease occurs. This is uh, something very harmful. This is uh, not something being random, randomly done in the cell. And let's start with the uh, protein synthesis, how it is uh, being formed. The important thing here is uh, a protein cannot be produced without the help of the other proteins. This is impossible. A protein cannot come into being uh, randomly. This is what evolutionists say. They say that in water, somehow, uh, the lightning came, the uh, tornado came, and protein <laughs> occurred. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, yeah. First of all, a protein cannot come into being in water because peptide bond I I cannot be formed in water. This is yes. their first and basic error. And uh, the protein synthesis starts with transcription. Transcription starts in DNA. DNA is inside the nucleus of the cell. But in eukaryotic cells, we have eukaryotic cells, we have the nucleus in our cells, and DNA is inside of it. And in bacteria, they don't have a uh, nucleus, but they uh, DNA again, they are prokaryotic cells. Mm -hmm. Firstly, uh, DNA must be unwinded with some proteins. Yes. This is helicase, and the strands, we, we know that it is two-stranded. Yes. They have to be separated, mm -hmm. so tra transcription uh, will begin. Why it has to be separated? Why transcription starts it? Because it has the instruction gu uh, guide for protein production. Yes. It is called it in the DNA. And this in, uh, instruction guide has codes, special codes, special motifs. Uh, and this uh, transcription must start and in that code. Not a code before, not a, uh, not a code after. Or else there will be a uh, mutation. Yes. And mm. it will be harmful. And when it is opened, the two strands, uh, it has to stay like that. It mustn't uh, wind again. It mustn't close. So single strand binding proteins does this job. Mm. They hold the strands and uh, un uh, until the uh, end of the transcription. When the transcription finished, they uh, release and start to, um, uh, start to wind again. Yes, the DNA. but also the DNA doesn't close. and went randomly. Yes. They have a, a structure here, a DNA helix has a golden ratio, like the many things we see in the mm -hmm. nature. Before it's unwinded, it has a golden ratio, mm -hmm. but also after the transcription, when it's winded, mm -hmm. it has also a golden ratio. We don't see any mistake here. It's all planned, yes. it's all calculated. Mashallah. Mashallah. How can it make a calculation? It is, you said this is very uh, something very important and uh, evolutionists are hiding this uh, information. It was golden ratio, it is unwinded, and it, uh, when it is wind again, it is golden ratio again. Who make this calculation inside the nucleus? It cannot make it make this. Yes. And proteins cannot make this calculation. Mm. Yes. MashaAllah. There is a power here, there is an intelligence here who makes the calculation. Yes. MashaAllah. Yes. Our yes. Lord Allah. MashaAllah. And uh, we talked about, uh, there is an instruction guide in the DNA. And for production, for synthesis, the uh, cell needs the copy of this instruction guide. Yes. So they are uh, photocopy machines in the nucleus. These are called uh, polymerase II enzymes. Actually, they are also protein. From the start, we are talking about proteins for protein production. First, uh, helicase proteins, then single-strand binding proteins, and also polymerase protein. Still, uh, from here, 
these are, uh, and I'm talking about uh, as a summary. In yes. details, there are something <coughs> more. We haven't started the synthesis yet, but there are lots of proteins needed from the beginning. And also, as you are saying, there are three uh, billion nucleotides uh, in the DNA. When you think about the DNA, it is something very tall, and the proteins that are coded in the DNA, mm -hmm. the genes, are very small, generally. Mm -hmm. They are not that much long, because mm -hmm. the DNA has the complete yes. information. So mm -hmm. we are talking about some of the proteins that can understand the real position of the genes, mm -hmm. and go directly to the genes, yes. and open the double helix, yes. and then hold them, uh, and then re start to read them. Yes. How yes. could it be possible? We are talking about some of the proteins, inorganic, uh, yes. uh, uh, organic, proteins. but yes. not yes. living things yes. we are talking are about. But And they cannot, again, this is the same thing that the evolutionists should think, they cannot learn it in time. Yes. They have to know how to hold DNA, double mm -hmm. helix. They cannot learn, try, let's hold like this and let's see what will it's happen. It's fatal. They yes. don't have time and for this. Yes, they don't yes. have time and also when they do it, they should do it in golden ratio. Yes. How could it be possible? Yes. Of course, uh, it's not possible according to uh, the uh, thoughts of evolutionists. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> their their idea ideas are actually ridiculous. I don't want to say about them, but uh, they are ridiculous ideas. Yes. yes. And after this, I want to show you splicing. Hmm. Yes. And uh, you can see in the splicing, there are sometimes excessive information in this mRNA. Yes. And uh, if this uh, information goes into ribosome for protein synthesis, there will be problems. These excessive information are called introns. Yes. And the needed information are exons. exons. Actually, I, I'm sorry to interrupt. No. The introns, they uh, mm -hmm. supposed to be, they thought that they are uh, not required. Mm -hmm. They are the rubbish DNA, yes. they call it. Mm -hmm. But it is not true. Also, scientists understand that they are required during the fetal development. Mm -hmm. And when the baby is in the mother's mm -hmm. womb, uh, these introns, the places that we don't use, we, uh, we assume that they are not used in the normal mm -hmm. human body uh, now when it grows, they are also essential for the fetal development. Actually, they are not rubbish DNA. Of it is course. very important. I just wanted to mention now. Yes. And I want to add something. Mm -hmm. um, if uh, the trans uh, transcription starts um, a nucleobase before or after, then uh, the mRNA which is formed will be useless, yes. mm -hmm. which course. is also very important. The mRNA which is uh, produced is formed of a single nucleobase, which are in the uh, nucleus, and uh, this. Uh, not an easy, uh, this is not an, e an easy process. Yes. Uh, maybe it looks like a very easy uh, thing, mm -hmm. but uh, it is a very complex process. Mm -hmm. uh, all There's the processes, yes. yes. And uh, enzymes work better than a high-tech chemistry laboratory. Yes. yes. So it is not uh, such and easy thing. And they are thing. just molecules. Yes. Yes. And uh, this uh, splicing is being done with a group of proteins called, called spliceosome. And uh, ATP comes and other parts of the spliceosome comes. This is very complex, very, very cl complex, uh, as you can see on the video. And this is not something coming to being randomly. There is a wisdom here. The thought about r being random is something impossible and ridiculous, as I said. And uh, after it is finished, it has to get outside of the cell. And uh, when it is getting outside of the cell, sorry, uh, the nucleus, the nucleus has gates, and these gates are proteins. Again, we see protein here. If these proteins doesn't permit it to get out of the nucleus, it cannot get out. When it is, uh, uh, when it gives permission, it can get out. And when it sees mRNA uh, that is going to ribosome for protein production, protein synthesis, it uh, opens the gate and gets out of it. Yes. This is uh, very miraculous because yes. uh, these are, as I t uh, told in uh, the last week's program, they are like stones, uh, the proteins. They, are, uh, they have the same atoms, only structure is different. They are non-living beings. Yes. Uh, assume that, uh, for example, on the table we have pen, and uh, suddenly it start to uh, it gets up and start to make drawings some work, drawings or uh, some works around the house. This is the same thing. 
their life is given to them by Allah. Maşallah. This is the creation of Allah. Because they are non living being, but they are when they are in the cell, they are working. Maşallah. This is very miracles, mashallah. And uh, next week we will continue about the structure of the mRNA. Inshallah. 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 Inshallah.